Okay, pilots. Let's get this vertical on. And I'm going to give you the light show. Make sure we get shot. Alright, now. What I had to do to get that left vertical in is I've got my little pull tool through here. Now, I got it pulled through, but then I hit a wall or something where I had to turn the tool, the wire, and turn it and pull it and push it. And I finally got that wire through something in there. But it wasn't. Wasn't want my go pilots, I tell you, so this could take three seconds, it could take 30 minutes. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I've got to be careful not to pull my lead through as I'm pulling this wire through with a servo. That's just one now. <laughs> That's just one. Okay, I got the second one. I got the second one. The second one's through. It's in the hole. All right, now we got a, a plug to pull through. Now that's another. We're not over yet. I'm just trying to get my tool off the wire here and find out which one to pull. This up tight enough here. Not pull my lead thing for the server. Okay, we should be clear, ready to plug in our servo lead. Checking our polarity. No pilots at these servo leads has got some paint on. Okay, and it looks like they put them into a pocket in here. Let me show you this. I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna take the gamble and show you this. You see the pocket right here? Okay. The servo lead is stuffed down into that pocket real tight, like so, when you get it in the, out of the box. 
So, I mean, you know, they could be some paint on it. You know, they might not. I don't know, but I'm going to show you what I do. I'll just take and, and plug the lead in two or three times and just to maybe scrape the paint off and make sure I'm getting a connection. And, I mean, pilots, the, the verticals and the wings is not that hard to take back off and, and go and if you or if you do have a problem and a servo not working maybe it's not like you got to take something and glue it tear it all apart to get to it let's do one two three well well three Check our polarity, and we're gonna put it in. Nice little pocket there. Let's put your servo lead in. Just kind of wiggle it around there a little bit to line up that. Those two screw mounts. It's got a hole in there that's got to line up with it just like that. And then you push it down there. Okay, okay, okay. I feel good about this. Now, I'm going to carefully go up under here. Let's see. I'm going to find that lead if I just pull through. much out of it as I can because that's pretty good distance up there to this cockpit pilots. Pretty good distance to the cockpit. So we're going to put this plug into a strobe port. A strobe port. Let's see. Yep. Strobe. Okay, pilots. Okay, pilots. Okay, pilots. Are we ready for this? Let me check my controller. I want my gear to be up. That's right, pilots. I'm putting a battery in this thing. Now, this is just a three cell. It's hooked up to a separate receiver. It's on a separate ESC. Everything's all separate, but the lights and the landing gear. We have contact. Now, here we go. This is the test. the wrong button maybe. Oh my god. Let's take a look at this. You get this thing turned around here. Can't find it. Where you at? Oh, here we go. Wait. Okay, pops. Now wait a minute. The show ain't over yet. The show ain't over yet. 
don't, don't, don't change the channel. Same channel now. This is not free wing LED, so I don't need to go into the box. All I need is an open port, checking my polarity. I know I'm not going to be able to sit it all the way in there for flush pipes. I got wires going everywhere. That's about as far as I can get. I don't want to see smoke. <laughs> okay.